and that's exactly how the craft works. It creates a distortion right in front of it, and the craft falls forward. Use the Magnetron. November 5, 2015. The easiest way to get to space is to use the Magnetron, that's right, just like the one in your microwave oven. The Magnetron in your microwave oven operates at about 2.4 GHz. This is good for agitating the molecules in food, but if you increase this, microwave, or electromagnetic vibration, to about 10 GHz, 33 GHz, you can start to manipulate the force of gravity itself. With this, you could surface a large shipping container with magnetrons, at about every 9.5 slash 10 inches and slowly increase the gigahertz, as you get to about 10 gigahertz, or possibly between 10 and 33 gigahertz. You will start to create your own gravity. At this point, you open the magnetrons on the top of the spaceship more and, just like matter creates its own gravity, there will be more, gravity, on the top of the ship than the gravity imposed by Earth, and the ship will, fall, upwards. You modulate the electromagnetic field around the ship in the direction you would like to, fall, or travel in and, gravity, will, fall, you, into the direction you would like to travel. Also, you can apply a strong field to the entire shipping container and actually reduce the interaction of mass and inertia on the shipping container, moving the weight of the ship, out of phase, reducing its, mass, and making it extremely nimble. Able to travel at unimaginable speeds, with little or no, gravity, within the ship's field, therefore there will be no gravitational pressure within the vessel itself, so fast acceleration, sharp turns and abrupt stops will not affect the ship and crew. Orion Michael Guy In the summer of 2014, Lieutenant Graves was based at a naval air station Oceana in Virginia Beach. The pilots wondered if their new radar system was malfunctioning, until they saw one of the unidentified objects up close. Did he give you size, color, texture? It was basically a cube with inside of sphere where the points of the cube uh, were touching outside of the sphere. It wasn't until someone actually saw one go in between two aircraft at a close range, probably within 150 feet, that it was starting to worry some. Lieutenant Graves says when one of the objects nearly caused a terrifying mid-air collision, with the meager information that has been accumulated over a period of years, astronomers cannot draw too many definite conclusions about Mars. We realize there are probably certain unavoidable errors in our calculations, any one of which could make a big difference as to whether or not there is life as we know it on Mars. For the past half century, the intriguing possibility of traveling to Mars in a spaceship has challenged the imagination of many men. Rocket ships of all sizes and shapes have been designed, but most of them rely on an enormous consumption of chemical fuel to escape the pull of the Earth's gravity. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer.